we should start by looking at the last three years, four years, because three, four years ago, a lot of the work around deep learning was about figuring out what it can do, how it can be applied, how it can provide this tremendous new set of functionality. But now we are at a different phase. We are starting the implementation, the deployment. And some things that happened over this period, first was the introduction of the deep learning frameworks. And those deep learning frameworks allowed the abstraction and allowed the industry to develop all those new topologies, all those new usages. What it allowed us to do is to build a completely new set of software libraries and graph compilers and connect from all of those down to the hardware, the underlying hardware, and get value out of the hardware. And this software, this optimized software, allows us to improve our existing hardware by two orders of magnitude. And in addition to that, the hardware itself, the CPU hardware, has been enhanced. If you look, for example, the second generation Xeon scalable processors, which were launched earlier this year, are including hardware acceleration that gives you 10x, 14x, depending on the usage, compared to previous generations. And the last big change is the transition to inference. And if the ratio four years ago was about one-to-one -one training to inference, because it was primarily about trying out things, now the ratio, I would estimate, is about one-to-four training to inference, going towards one to 10 in the coming years. So the focus goes to inference. And most of the inference in the cloud, in the data center, runs on CPUs. And so this shift and the question being asked lead us to three basic elements. One, using the CPU as foundation. Using the latest software allows all the users, all the companies, to use the existing hardware that they have very efficiently and get a lot of value out of that. In addition to that, as they scale, as they grow, they can add hardware that is especially tuned and enhanced for that in the CPU. The second thing is about the specific deep learning, most intensive type of workload, which is tensor arithmetic. So when you have those multi-dimensional array and you do this arithmetic, it is very demanding. And this, there's this new class of custom ASIC acceleration. And we will introduce later this year neural network processors, both for training, the NNPL, and for inference, the NNPI, in order to address this specialized task. And it's done highly integrated with the rest of the platform. And finally, software. Software is key. We talked about the importance to optimization. It's also important to keep the overall environment that includes multiple components, different type of compute, to keep it streamlined and keep it easy to deploy.